Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Will Dillingham. I'm an application engineer with Inertial Labs. Today I have with me our AHARS 10P. This is the professional version of the Attitude Heading and Reference System. We're going to do a little unboxing video for you and connect it with the graphical user interface so that you know what to do with the unit when you get yours. Now when you go to open the Pelican case that the device came in, you're going to notice five things inside. The first is obviously the AHARS 10P. The second is going to be a flash drive that's going to contain documentation for the system as well as the graphical user interface and a parameter file. The next is a data cable that's going to be used to power the device as well as connect to the host computer. The next is an RS-232 to USB converter. And finally, a power cable. Now when you're ready to begin using the unit, the first thing that you're going to do is take the AHARS out of its bag. The next thing that I'm going to do is take the data cable and unravel it and connect the unit end to the device. Like so. Next thing that I'm going to do is take the RS-232 to USB converter, plug that into the alternate end of the data cable, like so, and then take the USB side and plug this into my host computer. Next I'm going to want to take the USB out of its packaging and plug this into my host computer as well. And then lastly, what I'm going to do is take the power cable, plug this end into a wall outlet, and the alternate end powering on the device like so. Once you have finished connecting the device to your host computer, you're going to want to make your way to File Explorer, and then make your way to the flash drive location and open up the graphical user interface. At this point, go ahead and make your way to Test Options, and right next to Serial Port, Select the COM port that the computer has assigned to your device. Next to baud rate, go ahead and click auto, and the computer will automatically detect the baud rate that the unit is connected on. After this, we're going to click OK, and then make our way to AHARS visualization on the left-hand side, and click on the green start button. After the unit has completed its initial alignment, you will notice that values are displayed on the right hand side for outputs and on the left hand side there is a visualization that will show the unit in real time. As I'm moving the unit here on my desk you can see it displayed. Once you have finished using the device go ahead and click the stop button and when you are finished using the graphical user interface you can click file and then exit.